Okay. And this is another one. I want to investigate what this part is and if this silver. It's very old looking. If it's not silver, it might be that alpaca stuff, but it's not marked. Yeah, it's not. But that's one I'm not going to sell to. I want to see what those are. Okay, so what am I going to sell? They're pretty good through them in the light. You yeah, I know. The They're beautiful. What do I have to sell? All sorts of stuff. Yeah, this was the bracelet um, <laughs> jar he was opening up. Little Christmas crystal with the charms. This one you have the candy cane and the snowflake and the little red, white, and blue beads. This one also has the candy cane and snowflake, and this one also, three of them. We'll sell these for seven dollars. Cute little Christmas glass beads. So it's a great deal. Next one we have are beautiful beads. I think. I'm trying to figure out which ones go together. Yeah, I think that goes. Okay. We've got this one. It's got the feather and the tassel, and these are glass. This one's not, but it looks like cracked glass. But these are glass. That's glass. And here's another one with a leaf design. And another one with the leaf design. So I think these three go together. Or complementary anyway. And we'll do these for seven dollars. They're beautiful. These two I'm putting together, they have that beautiful um, AB washed bead there. I love this. These are fairly loose on me, so they'd fit a bigger wrist. We'll do those for six. The next we have are these Jules B. They're marked 20. We're going to do these for eight. They're beautiful gray colors. I should keep them, but I'm not. I'm not. But I should, because I love gray. Here's some more beautiful AB wash crystals. Let's see if y'all can see that. You can see the little yellow pop and the blue. We'll do these for four for eight dollars. I'm sorry. Eight dollars. There's four bracelets. That's what I had in my head. I had something in my head. It's a miracle. These feel like acrylic. We're gonna do these for two. Pretty though. We have these with the gold and this with the pearl. This is glass. And this is not glass. So really just these two go together. We'll do these for three. And we'll do this one for three. This one that we did for three, we're going to throw this one in with it because it's also not glass. So that's three. These are glass and stone or glass. Very pretty. We'll do these for six. And these are glass with these glass beads here. We'll do that for three. Okay, we have a memory wire with little flowers. 
Very sweet. Small enough for a child. We'll do that for two. That's three. Mm -hmm. This is two. We have a, another memory wire. You have glass beads, you have acrylic beads, you have a mix of beads. We'll do that for three. Very pretty. We have a metal bead that looks like hematite. These rondelles that have the rhinestones, they're all there. These ice cube looking acrylic beads that are fasted. Very pretty. We'll do that for four. Here's very colorful beads with charms. So you've got a coin looking charm here. We have that one that also looks like a coin. This little filigree disc and a wooden bead. Some of these are glass. I believe they're all glass. These are not glass. These are wood. These colored ones are cold. Some of them, like these, are cold. These may not be glass. That feels like glass, and that feels like glass. And that, I'm not sure. It's very pretty. Two, four, six, eight, ten strands. We'll do that one for eight. It's very pretty. We have these from Kim Rogers. Very pretty. I believe these are acrylic. They could be glass, but I think they're acrylic. We'll do these for four dollars. This is a beautiful set here. Love this. Love this color combination. You've got the little charms here where it beats. Not seen that. That's beautiful. We'll do this for ten. It's gorgeous. This is a Judith Ripka necklace, but it needs the pendants that go, the pendant attaches with these magnets. It can't go together like that. And I've got her jewelry upstairs and I probably have something to go with this, so I'm gonna keep it. Bag. Thank you, honey. Mm This is a broken ID bracelet. It just needs a clasp. And this is a stretchy bracelet. It looks like it has Marcus side. I'm not sure if those are. Pretty panels. Needs to be restrung. These two are going in the new $18 jewelry. Hobby yeah. lot. Where's that necklace? What? Oh, this one? Yeah. Was that to go in the other one? No, it's to go in this one. Oh, yeah. this The stone is going to go in there, too. Silly me. Okay. We missed a necklace. Imagine that. There it is. On Big Sky. Oh, it's got a knot in it, Robin. That knot will be taken out. There's your lobster claw, your extender with the bead. Well, I tell you what, you take the knot out and you can have it for a dollar. Needs polishing up here. And we'll give it to you for a dollar. But you have to take your own knot out. And the dollar hobby lot. Good conduct metal. 
imagine that we have to give. Not so much your good conduct, just mean you stayed out of trouble. I know. Okay. And that's what I say. It's a shame we have to give a medal for pe people to act right. I just, that just doesn't sit well. But anyway, I don't know what to do with it, guys. Should I put it in the hobby lot? Hobby lot? Yeah. The $18 hobby lot. It'd be something different anyway. Now, let's see. Here's a little open your heart. A little piece here. We're going to put that in the hobby lot. Okay, I saved some little doodads here. I'm putting this in a doodad bag. I just wanted to show you what came in the, um, the jar. This one is a stick pen with a stone. Very unusual stone. Almost looks like a leopard jasper. With a little angel attached. We're gonna sell that for two dollars. Very sweet. Could be sterling for all I know. But I'm not gonna test it. It's a little angel. Very sweet. This one is uh, simulated for a star sapphire with little rhinestones around it. Or CZs. I'm sure it's not diamond. Let's make sure. That's the make of sure. Nope, not diamonds. It's missing one. We're going to put that in the $18 Hobby Lot. And there it goes. It won't ever show up, but it's in there. Okay. Earrings. Well, we got to do earrings next, so we'll be right back in a minute. Okay, we're back to do earrings, and the first pair we're going to do are these. Oops. Pretty yellow. Or lime green. Green yellow color. Look on both sides. And I do these for five. These have that tortoise shell look. And I'm going to keep them because I like the geometric shape too. They're probably just acrylic. These are beautiful. Little tassel earrings in a cream colored. Have the, oh, it's missing a little speed there. Well, these are going into the $18 Hobby Lot. And they're in excellent condition other than they're missing that one bead. Okay, bye bye. The next are two pearl, like, well, they're dyed pearl. Very pretty. Wires. We'll do those for three. Here's another pair of these acrylic earrings. We'll do those for five. I love the white. We go with a lot. Next are, I need to check these out. Pierced earrings. Let's see if they have any marks. I love these tassel earrings. They're very pretty. They're in good condition. Yeah, it's not magnetic. Mm -hmm. I don't see any marks. We'll do these for five. They're very pretty. They even have metallic thread in them. Very pretty hoops. 
love the color of these and the matted uh, gold tone very cute tassels I'm going to do those for five next we have the beaded these look brand new very pretty we'll do these for five very cute we have these that look like peach peaches you know the Georgia peach but you know that South Carolina has more peaches than Georgia We'll do those for five. Very cute wire earrings. Whoa, 